You know, selling is easy when you get to go to your office, go to your desk, lean down on your chair, put your hands over your head, and the phones are ringing off the hook. People are calling you left and right. Customers are just coming and coming. Selling is hard when you have to continually sell and sell and hard sell and even more hard selling to meet your targets. That's why I say being a credit card salesman is not a good profession. Why? Well, for one reason. Credit card salesmen don't get referrals. Now, selling becomes very easy. Your phone rings off the hook all the time without very much effort from you, only when you can get referrals. Now, there's two types of referrals. One's the automatic referral, and the second one is the manual referral. So I'm going to talk about the automatic referral first. Now, automatic referrals are referrals that customers make for you without you even saying anything. Now, there's two ways you can get automatic referrals. Automatic referrals will only come if, number one, you're competent. That means you are really good at what you do. You are the expert to go to, and you continuously get better at what you do. So that's number one, competence. They only come if, one, competence, two, character. Let's talk about character. Automatic referrals only come if you truly care about your customer and your customer really knows about it. So it's no longer about the sale. It's about the relationship. And when your customer can feel that you're there for the relationship, they have no doubt and no qualms in referring you to all their friends. So that's the automatic referral. And automatic referrals won't come, won't, no, come, if you didn't do your best to fight and to serve your customer. Automatic referrals won't come if, for example, I was in the market for an external sound card. Let me go get it. Ah, there you go. And uh, I, I, I needed an external sound card simply because I had to do recordings. Um, that's before I got this thing right in front of me. That's how you're seeing me, video camera. So I needed an external sound card. And I walked into this uh, shop in, um, in PJ. And I mean, all the shops there, I mean, it's a combination of all the shops, Jeez, I mean, they were not happy to see me. As, as a customer, they were not happy to see me. And, you know, I would ask one guy, hey, do you have an external sound card? They'd say, no. And that was it. Do you have an external sound card? No. Do you have an external sound card? No. Do you have an external sound card? No. And really, you know, if you look at all these salespeople, you know that all they care about is making the sale. They don't give a shit about you. They only want to sell you something, if they can. And since they can't, since they don't have it, never mind. I went to this one shop, however. I asked them about external sound cards, and the guy looked at me and was like, okay, what do you want to use it for? I st started asking me questions about how am I going to apply it, how am I going to use it, what am I going to do with it, blah, 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 and, and so many questions. And then after that, he wasn't actually sure right, what to recommend to me. So he made a call to people who were experts. He picked up the phone and he called his friends and called people from Creative to ask them, hey, what should I recommend to me, to Edmund? And you know what? It was then I realized and I knew that this guy truly cared about me. And you know what? If I were to buy my next computer, I would go to these guys. So these guys would get my automatic referral. I'll have no qualms about telling other people about this company. Now, the second type of referral is the manual referral. Now, the manual referral are referrals that, you know, well, you have to ask for it. You're kind of asking for the friend's contacts or you're asking them to make a phone call for you, to introduce you or whatsoever. Now, most people don't ask for manual referrals. They don't ask for the referral simply because they feel guilty for asking it. Now, let's examine why we feel guilty about asking for referrals. In most cases, it's because these people are guilty because they didn't think about the customer's best interest first. They didn't really care about the customer. They only cared about the sale, and they feel that the customer knows it. Now, some people ask for the referral, but get rejected. 
Now, why do some people ask for the referral, but still they get rejected? Why? It's because it's dangerous. That's right. Giving a friend's name to you can be very dangerous. Now, if you cross a river and you know it's full of crocodiles, would you cross it? If you answered no, well, that's the scenario. Like giving his friend's name to you, same thing. Okay, it's dangerous. Now, what you want to be able to do is to make it less dangerous, or well, not dangerous at all. In fact, you want to make it so that giving the referral is a great thing. So, here's the question: How do you reduce the danger for the person who's going to give you the referral? To do that, you have to number one serve your customer the way you'd serve your best friend in the world. That absolutely will reduce the danger, because your best friend—I mean, your best friend—will always refer you because he knows that you'll always do your best for him and the people he refers to you. Now, if all your customers know that you always do your best for his friends. Or his colleagues, or other people, is going to refer you to. It is not dangerous anymore. And look, you know, to reduce the danger, you'll actually have to do a good job first. Okay, a lot of people make the mistake. A lot of salespeople make the mistake of asking for the referral before they do a good job, before they've proven you know, their worth to the customer, before they have actually served the customer well. And you know what? That's a mistake. Never ask for a referral before you've done a good job. Only ask for a referral after. And when you work hard on caring for your customers, on building long-term relationships, on proving to them that you are not just a salesperson, but you're actually a friend. Only when you've done your best for them, when you've worked hard, then you will end up with a long stream of referrals. And when You've done all this hard work, then the easy work will be closing that many more sales.